Hey everyone, welcome to I'm Creatives. In this video, I will show you how to edit a PLR ebook using Canva. PLR stands for Private Label Rights. So a PLR ebook is a type of digital books that comes with certain rights allowing the purchaser to modify, rebrand, and sell the content as their own. Essentially, when you buy a PLR ebook, you're purchasing the rights to use the content as if you had created it yourself. In this step-by-step -step guide, I'll walk you through the process of customizing a PLR ebook to make it your own using the user-friendly Canva platform. So for instance, if you purchase this ebook from my website, you will receive a PDF instruction page from me. Then from that instruction page, you need to click the clickable link or text and you will be redirected to Canva. So let's see how it works. So this is what you will receive once you purchase the product or the ebook. And from here, this is actually an access page and it's a PDF form. So as you can see, we have a clickable link here. So once I click this, I will be redirected to Canva where I can access the ebook. Let's click this use template for new design. And then from here, Canva will actually ask me if I have an account already, or if not, that I have to sign up for a free account. So we now have access to the ebook, and this is actually 61 pages. And you have the right to edit this book, to rebrand it, change the color, change the font, change some words if you want. You can even change the size, the document size. If you want this to be into a presentation type, it's actually up to you. So we can start with the title. What really helps me a lot and even my clients is ChatGPT. You can ask ChatGPT to give you recommendations. Like for instance, with the title, I'm just going to copy paste this and then I will go to ChatGPT and I will ask ChatGPT to help me with a new title. So we have here digital product entrepreneurship igniting your online venture. We can ask another option if you don't like that. Catalyze your online venture, launching your digital product. Okay, so let's uh, let's ask another one. One more chance. So we can say make it simple and easy to understand. Starting your digital product business, a beginner's guide. Oh, I think this is something that we can use. So let's copy paste this and let's go back to our ebook and change the title. All right. So I think I can just remove this and I can actually like add another text. So I can do this. All right. If you want to change the font style, you can just highlight the text and go here and you have to select here the font that you want. Let's try Playfair. Okay, then make it bold. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's actually an effect. So if you want to remove the effect, just highlight this text and then go to effect and you can just remove it. Okay, or if you want an effect, a shadow, you can also do that. And uh, here in transparency, you can adjust this one. You can change the color of the background or the effect. The offset, we can also play with it. Okay, so if you're satisfied, then let's proceed to another one. Now, I need to change this. This is actually a premium photo. So you have to change this and find a free photo. If you will go to photo, actually, there are two types of photos here. We have the pro photos and the free. So the ones with the crown are the pro photos. So if you have a premium account, you can use this freely. But if you have a free account in Canva, you can use this as well, but you need to pay for it individually. I think I'm going to use like a free photo. So let's go here. So this is what we got. But I think we can find some nice photos that is for free so for instance this one but i think before finalizing the photo we have to do the background color first for instance if my background would be beige so this is how it looks like and then maybe i can combine it with this one i think this looks good so you can put your brand name here if you want you can put your website here so if you want to add another text there you can just copy this 
and then paste it here. And we have this one. We can just put your, if you have a website, then put your website here. Website.com, then make that bigger. So change the font size. And I can make this bolder. This one also, I want to change this into this color. Okay, so it's totally different as compared to the yellow orange ebook that we have a while ago. So just do the same with all the other pages. This one, actually, this is a photo. But you can change this, delete the image, find another image here. So for instance, this one, we can use this. If you want it to be faceless, then we can adjust this one, hide the face. Then we can change this to page i think i was using this one no 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 i use this one this is where you can introduce yourself but if you don't want to do that it's okay you can just delete this page it's the same thing this one also is an image so we can put another photo there and for this this is a frame so we can just find another photo here and then just drag it here if you want to like change this to not show the face, you can do that. Just drag it like that. If you want to adjust the picture, you can also do that. I don't want to show the face. Then replace this with the color that you want, that you are in line with your branding. And we can change this to this color. So we are using two different colors here. So I think we're done with that. And same with this, the page five, page six, um, it will be a lot easier also like if you use this background color and then you can just click here, change all to change all the background colors for every pages. All right. So as you can see, there are some that has been changed. Those are the pages that uses the background color and this one as well. So for those that were not changed, you have to do it manually individually so this one this is a frame as well this is the full picture with the face but i hide the face by by adjusting it so we can also change that maybe we can use this one this is a free photo so we can do that all right it looks good actually the background for this frame we can change that here so just click this color and then change the color from there. And then this one as well, we can just click and change the color. And this one, it's the same thing. We just have to change. That's it. And even this, this is also a frame. So we can use another color for that. I don't want the face to be seen. So... I can change the line color as well, or you can remove it if you don't like it. So as you can see, it's totally different as compared to the previous branding. You can continue doing that here. If you want to change the elements, you can also do that. Just go here and uh, change the element if you want. For instance, for this, I use this tag photo. So if you don't like that kind of stuff photo, you can just go to element and find a nice stock photo here if you want this we can change remove this and then change that to this element let's go back here instead of changing this one by one you can also copy paste or duplicate from here if you want to just copy paste that you can do that remove this and then copy paste it here so this will save you some time so you just copy paste all of that. We have to do the shape individually because I added the shape individually. So that's why you have to do that. All right. So, so far, these are just example. You can continue to do that up to the last page. And then I'm just going to show you something in the last page. Just want to show you this, like how to create the links. But before doing that, let's change the color of the shape. And this is a picture that I just paste over here in the laptop. So I'm going to remove that. Then we can use another photo. Then we can put it there and adjust the size. can just do this like that. I want to show you like how to create link. I have these free resources, uh, free products for my clients. And in order to do this, we have to highlight the word that you want to be clickable. 
highlight that and then you have to click here edit link then you just copy paste it here so once you're done then just click done that's how you create a clickable link inside your ebook that's how we can edit a plr ebook to make it your own to put your own branding and to change whatever you want to change in here to have your own ebook to sell. So thank you and I hope you learned something from this video. Mm -hmm.